I thoroughly recommend you get one of these. You won't need it all the time, but when you do get a blockage, you can easily clean it with that. Hello, this is BJ from Hearns Hobbies, and today I'll be looking at the Green Stuff World little nozzle cleaner. So let's bring it down there. See it there, a little brass colored tool. So it doesn't look like much now, but once we crack it open, just unscrews the end. And inside, there's this fine needle. Okay, so the nozzle cleaner is designed for cleaning out the nozzles of your airbrush. What we have here is brass colored handle with what appears to be the end of a airbrush needle on it. But it's been machined on this end. Let me see if I can just spin it around. You can just see there's a flat on there. So that's going to help ream out anything that's stuck within your nozzle. Now, anyone who has actually used a uh, airbrush before would have suffered from blocked nozzle. So let's put this aside. All right, so there's a pretty standard looking double action airbrush right here. Generally, you load the paint in through the gravity cup here and as the paint is drawn through this point, the air coming up from the hose is creating a uh, suction action, pulls it through and then blows it out the front. Now there's a small nozzle in there. Let's just dismantle this first so I can give you a better idea. Take an end cap off, loosen off the knurled capture nut, you carefully pull out the needle. Okay, so there's a needle right there. And as you can see, they're tapered. So very similar shape there. Okay, next step would be to take off uh, the nozzle. So just imagine that you've been spraying and suddenly you don't get any paint coming out of here anymore even though you do have a lot of paint here. Okay, so if it was spraying fine, that would generally mean a blockage at the nozzle. Now blockages can happen because of debris, which um, sometimes you have dried paint which may be in here or could even be dried paint within the paint itself. It'll travel down and it'll get stuck in the nozzle as it tapers. Now the only way to clean that is to actually remove the nozzle and clean it from the inside. Now once I take off this cap, you'll see the pointy nozzle that's on the end here. And you see how it's tapered to a point? If any debris gets stuck in there, you won't be able to blow it back. Because if you do try the blowback method, which is basically blocking the end and getting the air to go up through the, the cup, it'll probably dislodge, go back in here, but then it'll get sucked back down in. So best way is to actually have it removed completely. All right, so nozzles can vary in slightly different designs on how they attach to the end of the airbrush. This is a, a fairly common uh, system where it's just screwed in. And with these, you have to be very careful when you remove them. So there's a little spanner, a little square end. So there's flat spots on this nozzle, just to match it up here. And you just spin it anti-clockwise Like so. And then we use a finger to remove the, the rest of it, just slowly unscrewing it. Using your finger is more gentle than trying to use a tool because the threads are very, very small. Okay, so if I leave it there, you probably have a better idea of just how small it is. Okay, so it's tiny. Okay, now if that's been blocked, you can just imagine that we'll need to clear that out. So that's where you use this particular tool and you poke it in the end as if it was a needle. Okay, so you just need to hold the end very gently. And as you put this in there, you have to be careful because with this, it's been flattened on one side to be sharp and you don't want to put too much excess force on the nozzle itself because otherwise you'll be opening up the end and it will damage the nozzle. Okay, so we've just got that sitting on the end there. There's no force. Okay, and you see the ends poking through already. If that was blocked, it probably won't be poking through. Okay, so it'll probably be part way there. And then you just need to spin the nozzle, like so. Just with your finger, very gently. And then you'll slowly come through. Now you don't want to feel any resistance, because if you feel resistance, that'll probably be this part of the blade actually biting into the end of the nozzle. Okay, so once you see that the tip's gone through the end, that's it. Pull it out. You put the nozzle into some thinner or some water, depending on the paint you're using. Flush it out. Uh, it'll be good to just put this up to your lips and blow through the opposite side as well, in case there's any fine debris left in there. And then once that's done, 
it's just a matter of reassembling your airbrush. So we start off by uh, tightening it up with your fingers. Now with these particular nozzles, there is a, a good chance that they have some sort of sealant on them to stop air from traveling up. Now if that's the case, that seal would have been damaged by unscrewing it. And if you find that when you put it back together that you do get air traveling up through here, that's most likely the air is getting through the seal. Now if that happens, all you need to do is put a little bit of um, uh, Vaseline or even lip balm, just some petroleum jelly on there, just a little dot. And as you screw it in, the petroleum jelly will spread on the inside and that will give you uh, your airtight seal. Okay, so once you've done up your nozzle and it's finger tight, we just need to make sure it's tight enough so it doesn't come loose and it's airtight. So that's where you use your spanner. Let's just find the flat spot here. And you see that's where my spanner is at the moment. Now just to tighten it up, so it's finger tight at the moment, we just want to turn it ever so slightly. I'm feeling resistance here now and just a little bit more and that's tight enough. All right, and we'll just let that drop off. You don't want to over crank that because if you over crank, you'll break the threads. The threads will be stuck inside and you won't be able to get them out. Okay, and then we just pop on the end cap. Guide your needle back. Okay, so always put my finger at the end to guide the needle because you don't want the needle actually hitting anything flat until it's at a point where it'll be guided by this section. Gently push it back in until it's just in the end. Now you can have a look here, you can see the protrusion. Okay, and that's as far as you need it. And then we'll just tighten up the capture nut. Check the action. Okay, so if we move the, the trigger, the back section is moving, which is fine. And then you just put on the grip. And that's it. And that's your cleared out nozzle. So that's what we're using this particular nozzle cleaning tool. So this is a nozzle cleaning tool by Green Stuff World. I thoroughly recommend you get one of these. You won't need it all the time, but when you do get a blockage, quite happens, uh, quite often happens with uh, say chunky pigments, paint that's been sitting around for a long time. Um, you can alleviate that by using the Green Stuff uh, paint filters, that will help. But if you do get a blockage, I mean, that can still happen. If you're airbrushing for a long time, very dry environment, paint is starting to dry up, then you'll get debris that's stuck into your airbrush. You can easily clean it with that. So it just needs a little bit of care when you're using it, but it's a very handy indeed. So that's the Green Stuff World Nozzle Cleaner.